Welcome to Stream Brain Comics, your live preview of New Comic Book Day, March 21st at Green Brain Comics, the finest comic store in southeastern Michigan. The Muffin? <laughs> <laughs> the Muffin State. Oh, the Muffin State. <laughs> With your host, Katie and Shay. Hi! Welcome to this week's episode of Stream Brain Comics. We are about to showcase and preview all of the comics hitting the shelves this week, Wednesday, March 21st. So, welcome and let's get ready to look at some comics. Yay! Woo! Woo! All right. So, all right. On the new shelf this week, we have Catalyst Prime Summit Volume 1, Number 4, Catalyst Prime Superb, Number 8. Comic Book History of Comics, number four. Death of Love, number two. Deathbed, number two. Descender, number 28. We also have on our top shelf, Aliens, Dead Orbit. <laughs> and Black Science, volume seven. Ooh, Black Science, hooray. Love that art. Mm, so pretty. <laughs> Dissonance, number two. Dissonance? Dissonance. Dissonance, number two. You said I was going to be on your right. Evolution, number five. <laughs> Further Adventures of Nil Nick Wilson, number three. <laughs> Ice Cream Man, number three. Oh, let's not forget Harold County, number let's 29. <laughs> the spookiest, creepiest so comic in the spooky. world. Now, is this the start of the last story arc? I believe so. <gasps> Harold County's ending? I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> While I am very sad, all good stories have a beginning, a middle, and an end. This is true. So I believe that he will, they will wrap up this in a Ooh, most spooky. amazing and spooky way. So spooky. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we also have Infinity 8, Love and Mummies, number one. With uh, Louis Trondheim on one of the creator credits there. What? Classic European graphic novelist. Let's take a look. Oh, that's some nice art. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> not for the kids. <laughs> uh oh, what a dance. Also, not for the kids. <laughs> we have Guar, Orgasmageddon. <laughs> that rolls off your tongue so well. Orgasmageddon. <laughs> hey, while we're up here, also. Harrow County, Volume 7, Dark Times, A Common. <laughs> Did I mention how creepy this book is? Oh my god, it's so creepy. It's so good, though. Yeah. So good. Oh, yeah. We also have James Bond, 007, The Body. Number 3, Journey, Volume 3, Number 1. Kick ass. <laughs> number 2. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's a real word. Okay. <laughs> Killer Be Killed, number 17, with a beautiful wraparound cover. Ooh. 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 He's leaving. Beautiful. Love it. I love this series. So good. Lucy Dreaming, number one of five. This looks pretty. Written by Rockstar and Moon Knight writer Max Bemis. Oh, oh yeah, and the singer something in a band, Say Anything, right? That's him. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Matsuhari, number two. The Mighty Crusaders, number four. Monstrous, number 15. I love this book. It's so pretty. Oh, oh my God, I didn't see this cover. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I want this one. I love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is awesome. Moonshine, number eight, with another wraparound, of course. Oh, oh no, <laughs> nope, never mind. Well, this is the, what oh. they call the Virgin oh, cover. Yeah. So they did one version without the logo oh, and then they so that you can one. just enjoy the art. And then, yeah, I guess it's kind of wraparound, but yeah. So there's all, all kinds of choices. Oh, yeah. Ooh, this is one I've been waiting for. Moonstruck trade paperback. I love this book. It is super cute Aww. and magical. It so looks adorable. Like magic and creatures. It's got it's werewolves <laughs> in it. It kind of reminds me of Monstrous a little bit, except definitely more kid-friendly. <laughs> Written also... by one of the co-creators of Lumberjanes. Oh! Ooh. We also have Ninja K, number five. 
Outcast, number 34. Ponce Not Dead, number 2. A fine book. Quantum and Woody, number 4. Regression, number 8. Also creepy. Ah, super creepy. On our top shelf, we also have Rick and Morty Pocket Like You Stole It. <laughs> <It's> catchy. <laughs> Rick and Morty fan alert. Yes. We also have Rumble Is This a Wrap Around? Number four. Ooh, wrap Around nice. Virgin cover. I love that's it. That's super nice. That's really nice. Ooh, and this one too. That one's real nice too. Yeah, that one caught my eye earlier. Beautiful David Rubin covers. Awesome. Southern Cross, number 14. Ooh, Southern Cross is back. <laughs> no wrap around. <laughs> the Spider King, number two. Usagi Yojimbo, The Hidden. That's number a pretty crazy cover. Oh, seven. That is a crazy cover. I love it. It's pretty great. I love everything. <laughs> so many crazy covers. Vinegar Teeth, number three. And Witchblade, number four, with a wraparound. Ooh, pretty. I like that a lot. It's really nice. And on our top shelf, to finish it all up, we have the Way of Tank Girl hardcover. A nice little art book slash scrapbook of oh. 30 years of Tank Girl. Yeah, yeah. so uh, don't forget, folks, that this is Tank Girl's 30th anniversary this year, and they're going to be rolling out a bunch of really cool Tank Girl projects like this all year, culminating in Tank Girl Day, ah, October 20th. Which is also Sweetest Day in Michigan. October 20th. 20th. <laughs> Take your sweetheart to Tank Girl Day. She will love you for it. Tank Girl is wonderful. <laughs> Speaking of Tank Girl, look at Katie's new haircut. Uh oh. Oh boy. <laughs> it's not quite as Tank Girl as uh, <laughs> as it could have been. Thank oh, Philip Little go. says, "Stay valiant." Hey, Philip. Stay valiant. <laughs> Quantum and Woody, coming to get your Quantum and Woody. What do we got over here on the graphic novel rack? Ooh, we got epilogue, illustration, and concept art of the Middle East hardcover. I like this cover a lot with this little creature. I like her. And that is pretty cool. There's a lot of really cool art inside that. Yeah, there's a I lot going on on those covers, too. We should look through it, yeah. Let's, Let's get a take sneak a look. peek. Let's get a sneak peek. Mike Tui says, hey. 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 Ooh, Whoa, that's pretty. Oh, I love it. Pretty. Ooh. Ooh, that's really cool. Wow. Oh, race cars. Wow. Cool. So nice. All kinds of cool stuff. That's yeah. cool. Looks like a headlopper. Might have to get this book for my collection. <laughs> nice. Beautiful art. Also, oh, you're going up here? Or over here. Von Spatz. Von Spatz. Graphic novel. Von Spatz. Back up here. From Lone Mountain. From John Porcelino. I didn't even realize that's who this was when I saw it in the listing on this week's The Ship List. I love John Porcelino. He is the creator of um, King Cat Comics. Oh, The mini comics so that have been coming out for okay. years and years. Awesome. Also, MFK graphic novel, which also looks like it has really pretty art mm -hmm. there. Uh, we Spoke Out, Comic Books and the Holocaust, hardcover. I mentioned this book last week when Craig Yo chimed in to watch us. Craig put this together with Neil Adams, and it's a great historical document of all of the comic creators that were brave enough to speak out against the Nazi aggressions in Eastern Europe. Very cool. Also, Hope, graphic novel from John Bolton, um, continuing the one-shot uh, graphic novels. Oh, that's, is that part of that Yeah, I can't series? remember what the name of that previous series was, but I'll, I'll look it up and we'll get it on. Well, there's a lot of boobs in there. Oh, is it? No oh, boobs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but beautiful John Bolton art, always. Uh, and then Berlin, number 22, from Jason Lutz. Hooray! I believe this is the <gasps> final issue of Berlin. Oh. Wrapping up a long, ongoing storyline. Wow. Oh. Awesome. And so, now... hey, while we're moving over to the other side of the store, let's talk about a few events that we're having. <laughs> oh, yes. This Saturday's a big one for us. Yes. So, come by this Saturday to check out our panel discussion called... 
Immigration and the History of Comics. You got it. Yay, I got it. That's going to be happening this Saturday, March 24th from 2 to 4. And that is going to be featuring a presentation by Rich Rubenfeld, who is a local historian, uh, a local comic historian from Eastern Michigan University, um, as well as a couple other notable comic uh, creators will also be on the panel for Q&A and discussion about that topic. And that is a big read event that is in conjunction with the library's The Big Read Project. Ah. The next day, Sunday, March 25th, we will be having a little party in here party. to celebrate my 30th anniversary of being part of the comic book store. Uh, I started working here 30 years ago and oh. eventually bought it. I liked it so much, I bought the company. <laughs> and uh, now it's been 30 years, so we're having a party. There's going to be cake and punch and stories and artifacts and... Of, we're going to have a video station set up to where if you have any stories to tell about the history of uh, just your experiences at the comic book store, whether it's at Reader's Exchange or Comics Plus or Comic Gallery or a good old green brain, feel free to come by and tell your stories and share with the world your love of green brain Yay. and the history of being here in Dearborn. We've already been getting some great stories on the yes. Facebook event. So <laughs> if you can't make it in Sunday, feel free to chime in there. And but definitely try and come by on Sunday. Uh, we're also celebrating with Katie's new haircut. We are also still scheduled to have part three of our Watchmen Book Club on Wednesday, March 28th from 6 to 8. And that will be the return of Dan Lane for that event. He is currently on hiatus because he's a new daddy. So when you daddy. see him, be sure to congratulate him on his new baby. So it'll be like, Congratulations, Dan Lane, new baby! Yay! <laughs> we're very happy. It's actually our first comic store baby, so um, we're very happy and excited for Dan. Yay! Starting his little family. Woo! That's awesome. <laughs> um, there's always a whole bunch of cool events happening at Green Brain, so be sure to check out our Facebook and other social media for all of the uh, events, upcoming to-dos, and to stay updated on everything that's going to be happening here in the near future and beyond. <laughs> Before we get back to the new comic preview, let's look at the new games and new boxes that we got in. Always new boxes! Kids are crazy about the boxes! And the games! We got these two new Legend of Korra games. Ooh! Oh, they're Nickelodeon! Oh, that's because that, that show was on Nickelodeon? Yes. But I didn't realize that they created or had the name on the game, I guess. A new Dark Crystal game and Ooh. a dexterity <laughs> game called Slap Cat. We saw a demo of this. It looks really fun. <laughs> I want to play now. And also, we got this cool new box in from WizKids. It's a Batman box with some, looks like Tony Daniel art on the side and maybe Jim Lee art on the front. It's really pretty. I like that box a lot. Getting a little reflection there. That yeah, looks good. Awesome. So get them while you can. These boxes don't last long. No. Mm -hmm. And now back to the comic preview. Back to the comics. Ooh. Over here, should I be over here? Over here, <laughs> on the DC shelf, we have Aquaman number thirty-four, Batman number forty-three, Batman: Sins of the Father number two of six, Tales of the Man Bat. What does the man bat? What does the man bat say? He says, "Ca ca." <laughs> Trade paperback. <laughs> Batman Teen. Oh. <laughs> Cave Carson has an interstellar eye, number one. Ooh. Cool. New young animal book. Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, two, number five of six. A lot of numbers. <laughs> the Brave and the Bold, number two of six. Batwoman, number 13. Damage, number three. With Wonder Woman. Not Wonder Woman getting tied up on this cover. Ooh, look at that cover. That's look at that cover. Yeah, nice. look at that cool Batwoman cover. Beautiful. Dead Man. Find Raza Ghoul, number 506. Flash Trade Paperback, volume 5. Green Lanterns, number 43. And hey, back in stock for the first time, 
<laughs> Green Lantern, Earth One, Volume One. Yeah, sorry we didn't have this on the shelves last week, folks, but we got it now, and it's ready for you. Mm-hmm. Harley Quinn, number 40. Oh. Boing. <laughs> Those are gang. She's jumping. That's the sound of jumping, right? Boing. Boing. She's fishing here. Fish. <laughs> Injustice 2, number 22. Justice League, number 41. Nightwing, number 41. Planetary, volume 2. <laughs> How about that? Is this like book 2? Is this where they're doing the two? Book 2. Um, yeah, this is. Two uh, volumes the, in one. Oh, there is book 2. The condensed collections. I think this is everything now. Mm. All planetary in two volumes. Super Sons number 14. Doesn't, isn't it ending at 16? Yeah, it's, uh, it's ending right before the big oh, No Justice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Superman number 43. Zaro Verse. The Oz Effects Deluxe Edition action graphic novel with it's a lenticular? fancy lenticular cover. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Getting the oh, it's getting too much glare, glare on the uh, the shrink wrap. Well, believe us, folks, it's pretty cool. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder Woman, Forgotten Legends, trade paperback. I like the sea monster. I think this is a complete collection of all Trina Robbins. Oh, Wonder nice. Woman. Fun, and Future Quest number eight, starring Mitor. My door has a really cute dress. I like that. Yeah, it is pretty cute. <laughs> nice color coordination. <laughs> that wraps it up for the DC shelf. And okay, moving on to Marvel. Whoops. <laughs> we have second printings of Avengers No Surrender, 681. Or is it, yes, it's second printing. <laughs> also, Avengers No Surrender, 685, part 11 of 16. We've got five more to go. <gasps> We're getting so close. Ah, cable, number 155. With a real cool Daniel Warren Johnson cover. That is really nice. Doctor Strange, Damnation, number three of four. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at it's so much fire skull. Oh, he's got, yeah. He's so fire fire <laughs> skull. Is that Black Panther with a flame skull? Yeah, it's a Black Panther. And he's got Black a flaming Panther. Mjolnir, and Thor has a flame skull, and everybody well, has a flame skull. flaming skulls. Flaming skull. <laughs> Everybody's been taken over by Dormammu. Oh, so I thought everyone was just turning into Ghost Rider. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see Frank in there somewhere. Frank just gave us the thumbs up. What's up, Frank? Thanks, Frank. Frank. We also have Tales of Suspense featuring Hawkeye and the Winter Soldier, number 103 of five. Incredible Hawk, World War Hawk 2, 714. Iron Fist, Volume 2, Iron Fist, number 78. Iron Man, Hong Kong Heroes. This is a one-shot featuring brand new character and Ooh. all Chinese creators. I think this is a Chinese studio. Hey, is that Black Panther? I saw Black Panther. Yep. Yep, there he is. <laughs> Very cool. I dig it. Two fun, fun covers. Fun, fun. Miss Marvel, number 28. That's not Miss Marvel. Oh. Oh, where, where is, is Miss Marvel? Uh-oh. Again. <laughs> Runaways, number 7. Spider Gwen, number 30. Spider Men, 2. Trade paperback. Thanos, number 17. Oh my god, look at him. He's so cool. He's so oh, cool. hey, by the way, it's got we've got a new printing it. of Amazing Spider Man 796. Oh, yes. that's right. Yes. But uh, I was also going to show more Flaming Skulls. Ooh, this time like it is background. Ghost Rider. Cosmic, Cosmic Ghost Rider. Cosmic Ghost Rider. So cool. Cosmic Ghost Rider and the Infinity Stones. Uh-oh. That was the name of my rock band in high school. <laughs> the thing that they've been signaling for a really long time. No! Death of Mighty Thor? Is mm. she really going to die? I don't believe it. My well. tear ducts are getting primed right now. Oh, no. no. Weapon H, number one. Hulk Vereen gets his own series. Hulk Vereen. Hulk Vereen. <laughs> On our top shelf, we have... More True Believers, Venom, Venom Dark Origin, and Venom Flashpoint. Whoa, a ton. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> now that's a Venom ton. 
<laughs> and last but not least, we have X Men Gold number twenty four. Is that Storm? I don't know. <laughs> it's Storm Vereen. <laughs> so that's Bloodstorm. So you know. <laughs> I'm thinking this is X Men meets um, B Planet. It does. Oh, look right. like what's yeah. happening over here? Yeah. All the women are look like they're locked up. <laughs> <laughs> and on our Star Wars shelf, Star Wars <laughs> number forty-five. I should have gotten that hand waving. <laughs> and Poe Dameron number twenty-five. Big week for Star Wars fans. <laughs> Woo! <Yes. laughs> also over on the non-Star Wars rack. Non-Star Wars, Archie number twenty-nine. Ghostbusters, answer the call, number four. Samurai Jack, five of five. This is definitely one of the most bizarre Samurai Jack projects, and it's finally wrapping up. Quantum Jack. Jim Hansen's The Storyteller, Fairies, number four. And WWE, number 15, with the ladies of wrestling. I know who three of those people are. Yes. But that's Bailey, that's Sasha Banks, that's Becky Lynch. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I also I that's the I one. saw that the uh, <laughs> the other female wrestler is featured in there, the one whose name I always get wrong. Uh, Charlotte Flair, uh, Alexis, Alexa Bliss. Hmm. Nope. Neither of those. Well. <laughs> and hey, we got stuff up on the top. Of course. <laughs> Chloe, Volume Three. Frenemies. Giant Days Volume 7. Wow. Eisner Award nominee. New Game Volume 1. That's a really cute. A new manga. Riverdale Digest Volume 7. Secret Coders Volume 5. And Science Comics Robots and Drones. Ooh. Written by our own local talent, Margaret Scott. Wow. Hooray for Science Comics. Hey, and just in time, Jason Enright signs on. And says, hey. Nice. <laughs> hey, Jason. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. We're talking about Margaret's book right now. Ooh, speaking of Margaret, just got announced she's going to be the new writer on Green Arrow coming up real wow. soon. Wow. For, for one issue? No, she's uh, got a storyline. Uh, it says part one on that. Yay. Yeah, cool. Congratulations, Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> We're very excited to see that. All right, and then wrapping it up, over on the All Ages rack, we have Adventure Time Comics number 21. Just a real quick note there, Ben Mara does a story in there. Oh. If uh, any of you small pressers know Ben Mara, yeah, he's doing an Adventure Time comic. I like this cover. It's full of muscles. <laughs> we also have Miraculous Adventures of Ladybug and Cat Noir, the Trash Kraken. <laughs> My Little Pony Friendship is Magic 64. I like this 80s look going on. Oh, yeah, it's like the fashion thing. No, I love there's like it. Prince, there's Michael Jackson, there's Cindy Lauper, there's uh, Let's Get Physical, Olivia Newton John. <laughs> I like that. That's pretty great. Yes, very 80s. Ooh. Looks like we got new stuff down on the bottom. We do. We have Big Nate, Silent but Deadly, Unicorn of Many Hats, Heavenly Nostrils Collection. And, wow, is that it? Well, we wrapped it up good, because, boy, is that sparkly. Wow. <laughs> and, and Leroy says hi, too. Hey, hi, Leroy. Leroy. <laughs> you caught us at the... Oh, wait, we forgot one. Oh, wait, what? On our comic strip reprints. <laughs> oh. All oh, right on. That's because we moved that section. Yeah, new haircut. Yeah. <laughs> we have... Oh, nice. The Girls Before Swine collection. This is also to remind you, since we accidentally overlooked it, don't forget that we have moved our strip reprint section over to the middle of the store. So don't you walk by it when you come by on Wednesday to check out your new comics. Oh, and we also have posters if we have them. Oh, yeah. yeah. we gotta, we got to preview the posters. Oh, my gosh. Oh, they're so nice. We've had so many requests for posters that we finally... Uh, got a whole bunch of them in, and here they are. All kinds of cool posters. They're all um, in this cool sleeve, like unrolled, flat. Yes. You can see the beautiful. So you bodies. can see them, and they're not going to get damaged, and that's awesome. And you can flip through them and check out all the cool designs. 
and they're only twelve ninety nine each. Eleven ninety nine. Eleven ninety nine each. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you everybody for sticking around and watching our thank preview, you. our sneak preview of uh, this week's comics. And don't forget to check out or to like, share, and comment so that our stuff shows up in your feed. And also to if you want to see all of our past preview videos, they're all archived on our YouTube channel. Uh, just search for Green Brain Comics on YouTube and be sure to subscribe and click the little bell because then you'll get notified whenever we post new videos. Yay! Yay! Yay. Thanks, again, thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Happy, Happy Wednesday! Bye! Feed your brain! Feed your brain! Cut your hair! Cut your hair! <laughs>